this pyramid as a wonder for several, several reasons. But the main reason of that is the place or the location of the pyramid. Why the location of the pyramid? Because the ancient Egyptians actually decided to get a pyramid built in here for three main reasons. First one, that the place they are going to get a pyramid built on must be a rocky place, rocky area, which is not a sandy one, not a muddy one. So as it's a rocky one, it will never sink anymore. So we keep the height of the pyramid as it is forever. Why do we need to keep the height as it is? Later on I will tell you. Second point, it must be very close to the River Nile because they are going to cut the rocks in Aswan, which is almost about 980 kilometers far from here to the south. And they will transfer these heavy rocks. <laughs> I'm saying heavy rocks because the baby one of them was two tons and the biggest one was 15 tons. So they are going to be transferred by the River Nile till that area over there. These rocks they are going to cut, you will transfer them by the River Nile till here and that used to be in summer, which is the time of the flood. The flood comes, so the boats can carry these heavy rocks till this place. Third point, a place under a special geographical location. And we have to underline this word several, several times. What do you mean, a special geographical location? Is that okay? Try to open the map of the world and check where Egypt is. You will notice that Egypt is almost in the center of the world. But focus onto the Great Pyramid and the very chamber of the Great Pyramid. You will notice that it is exactly the center of the earth. Center of the earth? How did you know that? Nobody knows. Okay, it is the center of the earth. So what? So what? Center of the earth means that this place where we are now is the place that has the most strongest electromagnetic waves ever known all over the world. Electromagnetic waves? Do you mean that the ancient Egyptians had an idea about the electromagnetic waves? Yes. And that's written on the walls of the temple or the Karnak, or the, 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 the walls of the Karnak temple. It is telling us about how the ancient Egyptian king used to communicate with the leader of the army through the electromagnetic waves. Mm. It is something as what we call nowadays as a telegraph. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Electromagnetic waves. So what also? It means that once you go inside the burial chamber of the Great Pyramid, which is the one that has the treasure of the king, it will be about 80,000 different waves will go through your body a minute. And in six minutes, it is enough to destroy the whole nerving system of the body. This pyramid is built with limestone. And you know, uh, once we add water to the limes, what happens? What happens? <laughs> if we add water to the natural lime? Huh? Sticky, yes, it will be sticky. Thank you very much for the information. <laughs> okay. A chemical, a chemical, Thing happens okay and then it starts to evaporate and as if it's a fire and if you touch it you will be burning yes. <laughs> why because the lime has oxygen and the water it's h2o two hydrogen and one oxygen deals with the oxygen in the lime so it makes it makes such a double effect for the hydrogen we have. That's why it gives something like a fire. But anyway, this is not our target. But by the end of the day, the lime has oxygen. So there is a lot of oxygen inside the pyramid. Okay, so why if I lost my con to control myself, why I'm dying? Because there is a lot of oxygen? No, but because they added inside such carbon. So the whole oxygen coming deals with the carbon and changes to be as the first oxide of carbon which is a poison gas and once you smell it okay it will just poison the blood and the blood goes to the brain which is a poison blood 
killed some soldiers of the enemy, but because these are killed more than the ones who are alive, the person dies. If not, maybe he will wake up again or not. Okay? By the end of the day, it means that the people, the ancient Egyptian people, tried to kill anybody who would like to go inside the pyramid. No, please don't forget that the pyramid is such a tomb. Okay, and they did not expect that there was somebody going inside the tomb. Okay, but they did something like that to kill all the insects or microbes could affect the mummy itself. So they are protecting the mummy to stay as it is forever. Okay, for this reason, that was the main point that made this pyramid as a wonder. This pyramid, the ancient people spent almost 20 years to build this pyramid. And it was about 390,000 people working in building this pyramid daily. And they used to work three shifts a day. Each shift was eight hours, and each shift was 130,000 people. As the ancient Egypt was 120 million people. Okay. Well, uh, a lot of them died during building the pyramid because they were building the house of the king that they believed in the religion that is going to be a god in the afterlife. So it became such as a religious work. Okay? That's why we had a lot of complete families used to build or to help in building the pyramids. And that's why over there we'll be finding the tombs of the workers. And inside the tombs of the workers we found such complete families. <laughs> Help me to build my pyramid, take him to the heaven, that one not just take him to the hell. Okay. Are they well, slaves? Well, uh, at that time, actually, we did not have slaves. Okay. Because slaves came to Egypt by the entrance of Joseph to Egypt. Okay. And actually, the pyramids were built almost about 1,200 years before the entrance of Joseph. Okay. And it is almost about 1,900 years before the Jews 